In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating molality. In this problem, we're also calculating molarity. So we're gonna be doing a molarity and molality calculation. And let's start by just writing the equations that we use to calculate molarity and molality. Molarity, which is capital M, is going to be moles per liter, and specifically, it is moles of solute per liter of total liter of solution. And molality, which is a little m, is calculated by taking the moles of the solute divided by the mass of the solvent, not the solution, the solvent in units of kilograms. So let's see what information we have available to us in this problem. We have um, 5.1 grams of benzoic acid, that's gonna be our solute. We have 275 milliliters of a solvent and its density. Um, so we could convert the solvent to a mass using its density. Let's just go ahead and begin by converting the 5.1 grams into moles. Since we know that our solute quantity, no matter which, um, no matter which we're calculating, molarity versus molality, we need that solute quantity to be in units of moles. So let's start by converting 5.1 grams of C7H6O2 into units of moles using its molecular weight. One mole of C7H6O2. Um, I'm gonna round the molecular weight here, which you should never do with Alex. Seven times 12 plus six plus 32 is 122 grams. Don't use 122 grams, get a more accurate number. 5.1 divided by 122, we have 0 0.04180 moles. I'm just gonna leave a few extra sig figs on there. Um, okay, so let's, let's go ahead and do the molality calculation first, even though it's asking for molarity on top here. Let's just do the molality calculation first. For the molality calculation, we want the moles of our solute and we're which we've already calculated, and we want to divide it by the solvent in units of kilograms. So the moles of the solute is 0 0.04180. And for the solvent, what we're going to do is take the volume of the solvent, 275 milliliters, I'm getting that from right here, and we're going to use its density to convert from milliliters to grams, 1.16 grams for every one milliliter. And then we're gonna do one more conversion to get it into units of kilograms. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. 275 times 1.16 divided by 1,000 is 0.319 kilograms. That's gonna go right here. 0.319 kilograms, 0 0.0418 divided by 0 0.319 kilograms. The molality is point to two sig figs, 0 0.13, little m, 0 0.13. Uh, and it doesn't look like it wants us to put the units in there, so I'll leave that off. So there's our molality. Now for the molarity, the molarity calculation is going to be moles of the solute divided by the volume of the whole entire solution. The volume of the whole entire solution is gonna come from the combined volume of the benzoic acid and the solvent. However, this problem tells us that the student notices that the volume of the solvent doesn't change when the benzoic acid dissolves in it. So that's its way of letting us know that in terms of the volume of the solution, we can assume that the volume of the benzoic acid isn't, isn't, taking, um, isn't having any kind of role or, or not playing any part in contributing to the volume of the solution. So we can use the volume of the solvent as the volume of the solution. So our moles of solute, 0 0.04180, and the volume of the solution we're assuming or approximating is 0.275 liters, 0 0.0418 divided by 0 0.275. And that is a molarity of 0 0.14. 
five two big M to two significant figures, 0.15.